Tampa, City of Tampa Community Redevelopment Agency is now in session. Uh, we are going to have the invocation. Councilman Vieira, would you like to introduce the person? Yes, sir, uh, Mr. Chair, thank you very much. I would like to ask my good friend, Mr. Matt Hall, to come up. Uh, Matthew is an attorney in a startup new boutique firm by the name of Hill Ward Henderson. Uh, he works in complex litigation. He is a prior law clerk with the United States Court of Appeals in 11th Circuit. He is also a regular speaker on research and is a proud U uh, University of Florida 11 College of Law graduate. Prior to becoming an attorney, Matt served as an infantryman in the United States Army and was deployed to Iraq in 2003. He he continues to advance veterans' rights by being uh, the chair of the Hillsborough County Bars Association Military Veterans Affairs Committee and working in a number of other uh, capacities, including being a very longtime uh, Veterans Treatment Court mentor. And Matt's also a good man and a friend. So if you could please stand for the prayer and remain standing for the pledge. Uh, thank you, Councilman. Uh, Council members, uh, thank you all for having me here this morning. Let us bow our heads. Lord, we are gathered here today in unity to help lead our city and our citizens into tomorrow. We ask your blessings upon us and our community leaders. Give them guidance so that we may move forward in your way and in your light. We ask for your protection for our civil servants, our police, fire, military, and elected officials, that they may serve and protect us like we serve you and you protect us. Let us come together in this morning's session with unity and joint purpose and work together in your name and in your honor to better this great city and its people. Amen. Amen. Please be seated. We're going to have a monthly report from a CAC representative. Please excuse the informality, but I, I know this gentleman for a long time. I worked with him on the YCDC, the Development Mr. Corporation. Chair. Yes. Oh, I'm sorry. Dean Felder. Here. Goodis. Here. Maniscalco. Here. Ray, uh, Vieira. Miranda. Here. Carlson. Here. And Citro. Here. Now time for the informality. Grant, are you ready to give us a, a report for uh, the YCDC? Yes, sir. Good morning, City Council. Good morning. Good morning. How's everyone doing this morning? Uh, my name is Grant Mielek. Uh, I am the chairman of the YCDC. Uh, I've been with this uh, seller organization now since 2015. Um, and it's just been an absolute privilege to be on this board and serve the community uh, via CAC. Um, first, I want to congratulate each and every one of you on your well-run campaigns and to our new, our new city council members. Uh, we really do look forward to working with you. And once again, congratulations. Regarding Ebor City, well, what's going on in Ebor? <clears throat> to, to go ahead and cut it right to the chase, get right to the chase, Ebor is truly going through a renaissance. It is absolutely amazing to see what is going on, what is happening in Ebor, and it's just, since I've been there since 2006, it is literally night and day. You know, that said, we do still have some work to do. Um, and there's a little things there, but to say that Ebor is just kind of right there, right at the precipice of of even more greatness, I'd say that we're close and we're right there. With that said, I'd like to go over some key topics and accomplishments that we did. Um, in order for you to understand, um, or easily understand from a flow standpoint, I've broken it down by planning and development, public safety, transportation, infrastructure, other key activities, outside engagements, and events. With that said, let's begin. Planning and development. The Ybor City Vision Plan 2020 process has been well underway since March, with several community meetings accomplished. VHB's team, led by Neil Strallo, uh, will, com will complete the five-year community action plan by the end of this fiscal year. On May 15th, we want to personally invite each and every one of you to come to the Children's Board from 5.30 to 7.30 uh, to go ahead and you can get a glimpse as to where uh, we feel the community is going in our vision plan. As you know, the vision plan is absolutely critical because it does give us a roadmap and somewhat of a crystal ball of what the community at this time feels we need to move forward in. 
Um, <clears throat> Masonite International announced the expansion of their business in Ybor City. 